To create your free account in WAVE, you're going to go to waveapps.com and then go ahead and enter in the email address that you want to use with WAVE as well as create a password. Once you're done entering that information, you'll click on the create your free account button. The next thing you'll do is you'll put in your first and last name, the name of your business, and you'll select from this drop down list, you'll describe what your business does. So WAVE gives you a number of different categories. And if your business doesn't exactly fall within one of these categories, you can always choose one of these at the end. Other, I make or sell a product, or other, I provide a service. So I'm creating a pretend physical therapy business here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose medical, dental, and health and then I'll click the next button. Now WAVE is asking me, what do I want to do? So I could click one of these buttons, but what I like to do is just click on not sure yet, because that's going to show me all of my options in WAVE. So now WAVE is asking me if I'm currently in business. And you can see that you can answer whether you're running it part time, you're going to be launching it soon, full time or just playing around in WAVE. So since we're just learning right now, I'm going to go ahead and choose I'm just playing around with WAVE. You'll notice that this window popped up um, welcoming, welcoming us to WAVE and calling to our attention the fact that there's a help button down here. I'm gonna go ahead and close that window. And over here on the left now, we can see our menu of options. So if we click here on the dashboard, it brings us to this page. And this has a lot of information that you can see just at a glance about your business. Once we start to enter transactions, you'll see your cash flow here. And also you'll see your profit and loss, amounts that you owe, your net income, and a breakdown of your expenses. So it's sort of like a dashboard of a car you can see at a glance a lot of really important information about your business at the dashboard. So let's go ahead and keep going through these menu choices. I'm going to click on sales next. Within the sales section, we can create invoice templates for billing your customers, and we can even set up recurring invoices. If, for example, you bill a customer the same amount every month. We can also accept, we can use WAVE's payments processing system. If you want, it's an option, and I'll talk about that more in detail later. We can also create customer statements that summarize all of the invoices that a customer owes we can enter information about our customers. So the name and address and contact information so that we can easily populate that information on an invoice. And we can also enter in our products and services, which again, helps us to quickly prepare invoices. You'll notice when I click on sales again, it collapses all of those menu choices within sales, and then I can just click on it to open up and access all of these choices. Next, we have the purchases section. And if we buy from vendors frequently, we can enter in the names of the vendors. This makes it easier to enter in transactions. 
And for products and services that we purchase a lot, we can enter those in as well. Now the accounting link is one that you'll be using quite often. Here's where we can enter in our transactions. So for example, if I go to the transactions page, you can see that there are a number of different ways for entering transactions. You can connect or sync to your bank so that, for example, if you sync to one of your business credit cards, the purchases on your credit card will be downloaded automatically to WAVE. You can also upload a bank statement. And so if you use your debit card, for example, to purchase items, those purchases will automatically be uploaded to WAVE. And also as you receive cash in your bank account from customers, those transactions are also automatically uploaded into WAVE. And then finally, if you want to enter transactions manually, you would click here to access that section of WAVE. And so you can see here I am within the transactions section and I, I'm able to add expenses and income. Within the banking menu, you can see how you can connect your bank or credit card to WAVE. And as it says here, this saves time because your transactions are imported automatically. Within the payroll menu, you'll see that WAVE does give you the capability of creating payroll within this program. This is a paid service, however, so WAVE is free except for the payroll function. And also if you use WAVE to accept payments, there's a fee for that as well. So using the accounting features of WAVE though, that's completely free. Then if you click on reports, you can see all of the reports that WAVE can create for you, including a profit and loss, report, which is sometimes referred to as an income statement. So that's going to summarize all your revenues and your expenses during a period of time and calculate the amount of your profit or loss. The balance sheet is a snapshot of what your business owns, also what your customers owe you and your other assets as well and it shows the amounts that you owe to others, your debt. The difference between your total assets and total liabilities represents your equity in your business. And then the cash flow report shows the cash coming in and going out of your business. You'll see there are other reports you can create as well, including sales tax reports, payroll reports, you can break down and show the income by individual customer, an age receivables report, which shows unpaid invoices, and then a number of other reports as well. WAVE Advisors, um, this is another paid feature within WAVE. You can pay money to get advice um, from in-house WAVE accounting professionals. And you can also reach out to me with your questions. Now WAVE has a number of different integrations with other apps, which is pretty cool. So you can integrate with Google Sheets, with Shoebox, which is an app for organizing receipts. If you sell on Etsy, you can actually integrate with Etsy and WAVE will automatically the track the income that you make from selling your products, as well as the purchases you make from other sellers. You can integrate with PayPal and have your PayPal transactions automatically import to WAVE, and you can integrate with Shopify. 
And then you can see there are other partner integrations as well down here if you scroll down. Finally, if you click on the settings link down here at the bottom, you will access many different menu choices for customizing invoices, um, dealing with sales taxes, setting your business profile, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll be going over these in detail in some individual videos I'll be creating on these topics.